Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuckle Water. So we're all waiting for the Animal Crossing game to come out. But, you know what? I had no idea I was living a lie. Cap'n is a character found in the series that likes to drive you around. Um, in the past game, he would take you to an island where he would sing you a song. And you could either skip um, his singing, but he was kind of annoying. But we kind of loved him too. So the entire time, I just kind of assumed that he was a turtle. But really, what kind of animal is this? And you know what, that's when I've been realizing that my life is a lie. And upon my research and calculations, Captain is not a turtle, which I really thought was a possibility, but he's actually a Kappa instead. Don't judge me that I couldn't put two and two together, but Kappa equals Captain. In folklore, Kappa are amphibian-like animals that live in streams and rivers. They're around the size of a small child with webbed hands and feet and somewhat of a hard shell on their backs. Kind of like a turtle, but not really. Trust me, I'll show you a couple pictures and you'll see why this is, it is not a turtle. They're supposed to resemble a monkey, an otter, and like I said, a turtle all at the same time. But the thing is, Kappas have three buttholes. Three buttholes, and you know why? Obviously, because they fart a lot. That's why. You need three buttholes. So if you ever run into somebody with three buttholes, you know why they have them. So clearly, they always constantly smell like fart, but since they're amphibian-like creatures, they also smell like fish. So they're really, really stinky. They're really, really stinky-ass animals. Other than being really stinky, apparently they're, they're just swole all the time, and they're stronger than a grown man. And another crazy thing I would like to mention, because other than the three buttholes and the smelling like fart and being super buff, is that they have an ind indent in their head that kind of is like a bowl that holds water. And apparently if the water falls out of the bowl, they'll die. So, honestly, I don't know how Kappa equals this shit. Kappas are mischievous in nature and really like sumo wrestling. They like games of skill. They... Love looking at women's skirts, because they're thirsty all the time, and they fart really loud in public, and it is said that they're actually amazingly smart, and they're good with medicine, and they can learn a bunch of different languages. However, in some really small cases, some of them are extremely violent and will kill animals for no reason. Sometimes, when you're swimming, they'll bite someone completely to death, and they really like to kidnap women and eat humans. But what makes this worse is they'll kill humans, and guess what? Other than having three buttholes, they like to eat buttholes. Yes, I said it. They like to actually eat the sphincter. And not only is that their favorite food, their other favorite food is a cucumber. So I'm just saying, these freaking monsters are thirsty. They're super thirsty. The only way to trick a kappa is that you have to bow really low so the bowl on his head spills the water. And then immediately you pick up the water and then you put the water back in the bowl. And then after that, it swears its loyalty and friendship for the rest of its life. And the catch is, is that they never deny a bow. And that's because people say that they are very polite and they'll never reject one. But see, this is where I get confused. Is So if they're very polite, why is it that they think it's okay to fart in public? I just don't get that. How is it okay to fart in public and stink up the entire village and then then you're okay with bowing. So that I think that's a real issue right there. And then there's another way to trick a kappa. So you have to try to beat it with sumo wrestling. So you challenge it to do a sumo wrestling is. But you know what? Obviously you have to outsmart them. And there's a catch. In order to do a sumo wrestling match, you have to bow first. And thus the water spills out of the bowl. <laughs> Got it! On very rare occasions too, sometimes young young baby kappas are found within human families and the reason why they're there and they're friendly is because they were able to befriend them by giving them cucumbers obviously not the, not their sphincters and once you befriend them and give them cucumbers all the time they trust you and then they start um they can irrigate fields they befriend uh, lonely kids and they play sports i just don't get why you would even want to try to befriend one though i would just be constantly paranoid all the time and just be scared that they're constantly thinking about devouring me alive or just having my sphincter for breakfast but i guess in the end if you do end up befriending one 
It's better to befriend one and not get back, not not get on its bad side. So just keep offering cucumbers to it, I guess, for the rest of its life, and she'll be your homie forever. So yeah, apparently Captain has a dark past, but he's a changed man. He has a wife, and he has kids now, and now he's working for Uber, and he likes to sing you songs about beautiful women while he takes you to your next destination. And that's the story of the Kappa. This is Chuckle Water Hag. Let me know what you guys think of the story, and send me some love in the comments. See you guys next week. Bye.